Hi guys, it's Man Hunter Channel, and the next one we are going to be reading is called Franklin's Neighborhood by Paula for Boys and Brenda Clark. Franklin's Neighborhood by Paula for Boys and Brenda Clark. Franklin could count to ten and back again and say the alphabet without stopping. He liked drawing pictures and he loved show and tell. So when Mr. Owl assigned the first project of the year, Franklin was ready. We live in a neighborhood, explained Mr. Owl, and our neighborhood is made up of houses and stores, gardens, said Snail, and a hospital, added Badger. Exactly, said Mr. Owl. Now for tomorrow, I want each of you to draw a picture of what you like best about our neighborhood. What do you like best, asked Franklin. Mr. Al thought for a moment. The school, he replied. Everyone laughed. When Franklin got home, he hurried to his room. What do you want? Do you want a snack, asked his mother. No, he said. No, thanks, said Franklin. I have a project to do. Franklin took out his crayons and some paper. Then he sat down to think. He thought about the ice cream store, then the bicycle trail, and then the soccer field. Franklin sighed. Choosing the best thing about his neighborhood was going to, it's not going to be easy. Franklin went to find his mother. Could I have that snack now, please? He asked. I think my brain is hungry. But after three fly cookies and two glasses of milk, Franklin still hadn't decided what he liked best. Why don't you go for a walk around the neighborhood? suggested his mother. That might help, said Franklin. He got his paper and crayons and off he went. Franklin met Beaver in the meadow. I finished my project, Beaver announced. I picked the library. I went there right after school to draw my picture. Franklin thought about storytelling Mrs. Goose and the librarian. That's a good idea, Franklin said. Maybe that's what I'll draw. He waved goodbye and headed for the library. Franklin was sitting on the library steps when Fox came by. Have you finished your project, asked Fox. The library. Franklin shook his head. I was going to draw the library. I was going to draw the library, but on the way here I saw the movie theater and I can't make up my mind. Choose the fire station. I chose the fire station, said Fox. Franklin remembered the time Chief Wolf let him sit in the fire truck. That's a good idea, Franklin said. Maybe that's what I'll draw. He collected his papers and ran and set off. Franklin was outside the fire station when he saw Moose. Have you finished your project, asked Moose? No, Franklin sighed. I was going to draw the fire station, but on the way here I saw other places I liked just as much. I like the pond best of all, said Moose. Franklin thought about swimming and skating with his friend. That's a good idea, Franklin, so maybe that's what I'll draw. He said goodbye and headed for the pond. Franklin was staring at the water when Bear came along. What's the matter, asked Bear. I can't decide what to draw for my project. Franklin, said Franklin, I like too many things. My best place is the berry patch, said Bear. Franklin thought about all the times he and Bear had picked the berries together. See, said Franklin, another great idea. What about the park, Bear suggested. Franklin thought about playing with his friend on the swing and slide. That's it, declared Franklin. He said goodbye to Bear and hurried off. Franklin's mother found him sitting alone on the teeter tart. Did the walk help, he asked. Not really, replied Franklin. There are so many great things in our neighborhood. Franklin's mother gave him a hug. Let's go home and talk, she said. I made your favorite supper. Franklin grinned. At last, I know, at least I know what that is. Franklin felt a bit better after broccoli soup and fly pie. I'm ready to think again, he said. Then he asked his parents what they liked best about the neighborhood. I like the farmer's market on Saturday mornings, said his mother. Franklin smiled. He loved farmer rabbits, sweet peas, and farmer squirrels, fly brownies. I like being 
belonging to my chess club, said his father. Franklin agreed he liked belonging to the chess club, too. Then Franklin remembered something. It isn't true that Mr. Is it true that Mr. Heron is moving, he asked? Then, then Franklin remembered something. Is it true that Mr. Heron is moving, he asked? Mr. Heron was the president of the chess club. Yes, it's true, replied Franklin father. I'm going to miss him very much. This neighborhood won't be the same without him. Franklin nodded. He was going to miss Mr. Heron, too. Suddenly, Franklin knew what he wanted to draw. I know what I like best, he said. Franklin ran to his room and started working. At school the next day, everyone was excited. It was time to see the project. Raccoon was first. I drew the river, he said. I drew the forest at all. I Finally, it was Franklin's turn. He unrolled a huge sheet of paper. It was covered with drawings of almost everyone that Franklin knew. I don't get it, said Beaver. Franklin's mom. I drew my neighbors, he said. That's what I like best about my neighborhood. The end.